Hello, YouTube, and Merry Christmas. I think um, some parts of the world are celebrating it today, the 25th of December. I'm from Denmark, and we celebrated yesterday, and it was such a nice day. <laughs> I just want to show the art-related gift. Uh, these are two items that I selected for myself. Yeah, I totally cheated. I'm I'm super annoying like that. I go to Amazon with the good intent of buying gifts for friends and family and, you know, other people than myself. And then I end up clicking things in the basket exactly for myself and then <laughs> just um, telling my hubby that, oh, I selected my gift again this year. <laughs> so... I've been eyeballing these uh, washi tapes from Fango. I really, really love them. I had something similar. I'm just going to show you my washi box. Um, this is my whole collection of washi tapes. So I think I am allowed to buy some more because it's not a lot. <laughs> but I have this range right here. And I love them so much. And I am down to uh, only like... The breath of it left on the on on the washi tape uh, wheel, so I thought that you know what, since I love them so much, I should just go ahead and opt for the whole collection. And this is this one; it's so cool. Look, some of them are like super wide, like this. Isn't it awesome? And I don't know. There's just something about these really um, mellow earth tones with gold embossing on it. It just speaks to me at the moment. So I love, love, love this a lot. Love it a ton. And then I also uh, chose a collage book with the topic Art Nouveau. And I already uh, took out some of the pages, as you can see. <laughs> because I figured out that the first 10 pages in this uh, book is totally... Um, junk journal related so uh, I shred them out and then folded them and put them into this Tim Holtz cover that I've been lying around so now I can start some sort of uh, a mini junk journal I don't know I don't know we'll see where the plan goes but they were just you know that they were looking like this and it's just super Tempting to uh, take them out and start a little uh, a little art journal. <laughs> I mostly bought this, or planned to gift myself this, because of the images. It's going to be a jumping off point to uh, lots of paintings. Look, I worked with these images before, if someone can recall. Love the borders. So most of these I'm not going to cut out. Hopefully, I think I'll let them stay in here but I have started to cut uh, rip and tear you know out <laughs> some of the images really love it a ton yeah you can see here how I just started using it but the best part about the day after Christmas is that all the leftover candy look at this look at this I can <laughs> oh my god look at this so uh, today, a cup of coffee, chocolate, and a bunch of art. But I love this collage book. I think it's made out of AI images. So I actually think that they're kind of royalty-free, you know. So um, it's just fun that you can use them for when you stream and you can show stuff and you can... You know, when it's royalty free, it just gives me more free hands to keep the reference picture next to me when I'm doing videos. And it's a 40 page scrapbook, ephemera, and cutouts. Some of the colors are like really pushed back, so um, you have to picture them with more strong and vivid colors. There is not so much text in there. I really like the font of uh, the Art Nouveau Art Deco style uh, writing font. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit disappointing that there's not so much text. I recall seeing some images online from um, cafes and whatnot, <laughs> like menus and, yeah, so I, I would be looking for that. 
but I just uh, I'm sitting here um, having a nice painting session and I wanted to turn on the camera I'm working on a page spread in an art journal that I usually works in over at my patreon but I wanted to show my Christmas gifts <laughs> and then uh, I really adore the sunlight so sorry for the bad footage with all the sun but hey if you can get kissed by the sun in December you should you should embrace it so <laughs> that's why I just turned on the camera even though the lighting is a little bit weird and what is that crazy palette next to me hmm it's gouache and it's crazy I think some of you might recall it from summer where I used it I had one summer was it a year ago maybe that I used it a ton and then it dried up and then I just revitalized it by putting in drops of water and then letting it stay overnight and then with a skewer I could just stir up the paint and um, now it's <laughs> all fixed again I am laughing because you know what I have abused this palette so much I've used it a ton and I can't believe that it still is able to give me a lot of colors it should be used up by now it's 60 gouache colors from Atesa it was this chunky square box of gouache that you can order from Amazon come in tubes and I squeezed out all the tubes and I think today that was some sort of a mistake because they dry up totally crusty like uh, you know they just dry up really hard and they're hard to re-wet with a brush and then I um, also jumped on the yeah and drank of the Kool-Aid and <laughs> bought the tube set of Arteza watercolor they do the same you know they dry up with cracks and looking like really dry and then um, they're kind of hard to be wet and it starts to crumple in the pants so I've been a little bit naughty this morning and I put water on my Arteza watercolors I'm not sure where that's heading because uh, yeah I'm thinking they dried up looking the same as the dried gouache very similar so I'm thinking maybe you can <laughs> you can bring them back to tube consistence because that, that would be more fun to um, play with that but that's what I did this morning before I sat down with this um, journal spread right here so uh, when I'm done doing the voiceover of the journal spread we will revisit <laughs> the paint palettes and see if it works but I coated this page with matte medium because I wanted to go on top of it with my acrylic markers oh my god I'm not a centangler but oh boy I really love doing these uh, just random things and then um, this Art Nouveau page here and I think that's also why I wanted that um, scrapbook ephemera collage collection because it can give me a lot of references of what to doodle on these borders and yeah it's it's filled with images that's going to be a start off point to a bunch of drawings and I don't stay true to the Art Nouveau style I, I start putting in highlights and uh, making it look something else but I really love it <laughs> I think it's Bugs Joy look I go totally overboard with that highlight that's not uh, Art Nouveau style but I really like that dark outline it's very rare that I take a marker or a pen and outline my uh, artwork but that's what um, I really like about the style in Art Nouveau those uh, line works so um, always fun to try something new and here we go with a metallic gold pen just to jazz it up and it helped a bunch it's not so visible on the video but when you're sitting in front of the page it's just a super nice add-on to have that shimmery gold edge border so I decided also to use it for the hair love it really really delightful <laughs> drawing session I like it a lot I love my new books 
Okay, so this is my gouache palette. Can I get it in frame, maybe? And this is my Arteza watercolors, and I just put a lot of water in them using this device right here. And I just used regular tap water, didn't even go crazy with some sort of sterile water. And <laughs> they look exactly when they're drying up, like uh, a taser gouache, which is this palette here. So I was thinking maybe you can, um, let's just poke one of these and see if they dissolved while I was painting. Oh my god, they are. You know what? <laughs> I think they're made out of something very similar. And maybe the difference is that there is a little bit more gum arabic in the binder of the watercolor. Seriously, if I sit and work this pen, and just keep in mind that it's only been saturated with water while I was drawing the Art Nouveau painting. But I can, I can tell it's the same feeling and consistency when I revitalized my gouache palette from the Arteza. Oh my god, I think <laughs> I think I can get them back to how they came out from the tube. Well, why would I be interested in that? Well, because it's so super annoying to pick it up and um, it doesn't really wet well in dry state and it starts to crumple so you get a lot of uh, pebbles that are just um, scooting around in the in the pan. Just a super annoying way of doing artwork because it's not a, a, f a fluent way of uh, picking up paint. So it kind of distracts you, I think, or I get distracted by it if I have to fight picking up pigments. Oh my god, look, it's going to work. Look. I mean, I have not seen any watercolor act this way. Like, if you had a bunch of water in it, it would not go into looking like tube consistent. Okay, I am so going to sit and uh, let this get even more wet. And then uh, do some paintings today. Is it a waste of pigment? Well, yeah. <laughs> it always is when you paint straight out of tube. But... It wasn't an expensive set, so I am willing to uh, just sacrifice what's what's here to give myself a fun painting session. Because some of the colors are very similar, like if you take this um, really screamy neon opera pink, you will recognize it in this palette right here, like right there that the um, burgundy red is right here uh, i mean they're just like one and one one to one like you can <laughs> i can almost like see what what is what like these grays are those down here so um without jumping into some conclusions that might be super wrong i will say that they must be made out of the same animal <laughs> and they act the same when they're like super saturated with water then they become this gouache uh, liquid paint and what I love about Himimiya gouache is all the open containers where you can just dip a little bit here and there and you don't have to squeeze things out in a palette and since it's gum arabic that's in the watercolor it doesn't hurt or damage it to get so wet because it will simply just dry up and become what it was before so you're not hurting your watercolors i did cut out in acetate these uh, shiny thingy here to put on top of them and i don't know why i felt like i had to uh yeah i can't explain it <laughs> but i think that they are so vulnerable when they are such in a wet Consistence, and I learned from this palette here that it's very vulnerable when it's so wet for cat hair, dust, uh, whatnot. I mean, so you can't, um, once things drops into this, it's there. <laughs> it's very difficult to pick it back up. 
Yep. <laughs> I wish you guys a nice Christmas and uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.